Hi, this is Shadi. Um, today we will discuss Yasuhiro Yamashita. He was very much known for his uh, Okuri Erijime, particularly the clock choke variation, um, or what we call, you know, unofficial name Koshijime. Um, but apparently there was a very, I would say, sinister or even evil detail to it that I would not uh, suggest anyone would do. Uh, today I will discuss it. It can, it's, it's literally a legal loophole where you can do that choke. And, um, today Satoshi Ishii actually explained it. Uh, this was like a, one of the classical chokes that you can do is Okuri Eri Jime. It is there very much available, especially when someone goes for a particular throw, as you just see here. And he even gave it to his prized pupil Kusei Inoue. Uh, Yamashita and Inoue, they themselves were not Newaza masters and very rarely they would go to the ground um, and they had that one particular weapon in their arsenal and that is the Okuri Eri Jime, the clock choke or Koshi Jime. Um, even Inoue had like a very discreet detail, like almost illegal, which is here like the nose flick. Let's see it. Here, like he raises his wrist, and it is illegal to pull the nose up. Obviously, uh, whether you are trying to do hadaka jime or okuri e jime here, and then he just slips to the lapel under the the chin. But uh, if you do it for a very long time, like you're obviously pulling the nose, and it is illegal. But nonetheless, it is still very much acceptable. You could easily claim you are like wrist flicking to just get the chin up rather than hitting the nose. Um, but what I'm about to show you, which is the Yasuhiro Yamashita little detail is actually like, in my opinion, that would never fly in any case. And now, especially we have far more better camera technology where the referees are like doing like soccer, where they, uh, draw a square in the air or, um, a rectangle in the air. Um, and they ask for video assistance. So obviously this cannot fly anymore, but nonetheless, it is nice to know about it. So here, let's see in a ways wrist flick being done discreetly here, boom, and then gets it and gets the tap. So let's uh, check out Yasuhiro Yamashita's choke. Um, so here, this is Satoshi Ishii is about to explain. So he explains that uh, obviously you cannot grab the throat in judo and here Hadaka Jime, uh, he explains it that this variation is illegal. I'm not sure about that. Like clasping the hands is legal. Uh, Igor still doing it till this day and it is legal. So I'm not sure about that, but he says that you're mostly going to go for the gi and grabbing the throat obviously is illegal. So what Yamashita was, would do is actually clasp, um, like the, with the three fingers or four fingers, the gi and continues to crush the throat with his thumb while pulling the gi. Uh, obviously this is very dangerous and at the same time, very unsportsmanlike, but, um, uh, nonetheless, I figured that I would share this with you here. Um, so here he explains that he slices his opponent's neck with the knuckle of his throat, kind of like when you are trying to do a rear naked choke when you do no gi uh, bjj uh, and then get like the gi as he explains here but you continue with uh, pressing with the thumb and you're actually like pulling the gi technically but you're actually crushing the throat with your thumb at the same time uh very sneaky very sinister i would say uh unsportsmanlike but nonetheless, I'm just here. Like this is for educational purposes only. Do not go and attempt this. Obviously, um, especially with you know camera technology. Again, like if if you get caught, like this is bad in my opinion. And here, let's see it here closely. He brings the thumbs in and presses. Like you can you can uh, also press um, like the carotid artery rather than the throat, which will make it a lot cleaner choke. Uh, rather than like uh, enclose the throat. So here, um, I would say if you want to go and be dirty, at least press with the thumb, the carotid artery and not the throat. So uh, this is uh, basically it. If you have anything, let me know. And, uh, you know, this is a very 
great detail of a choke uh, how you can easily loophole some, something you know you are pulling the gi technically but you are using your thumb as assistance to restrict blood flow or even more evil uh, crush the throat of your opponent so again if you have anything else to add uh, let me know down below and this was shady and thank you for listening